Hello everyone and welcome back to another Spurs related vlog. It is the final vlog before the World Cup. I'm so excited to see how far England can go. But I tell you what, today is about Spurs and we need a massive three points to get over the line today and keep up with Man City and Arsenal. It might not be possible, we might not be up there at the end of the season, but it's always good to keep winning your games, get that confidence around the club after a disappointing loss against Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. So yeah, today we need to get the fans back on side, get a big three points and be happy before the World Cup starts. So big game for Tottenham today. I'm gonna get up there now. I'm gonna take you guys with me and hopefully get some fans thoughts and a bit of match reaction. Come on you Spurs. <laughs> We're in the stadium, I've got Ted Newman here with me. Ted, tell me, what's the score today? 3-2, Hoiberg winner. He's heard it here first. Come on, you Spurs. One nil leads behind again. Four. Get down! What a move by Tottenham, amazing football. It's fallen to Emerson Royale and he's hit it over the bar. But much better football, but still one nil down. It's about time, Ted. It's about time. Come Alan on, Austin. you Spurs! What's a goal, Harry Kane? Back at it again. 25th minute. Good first half. Good football. Pressing high. Lots of corners been in one. This is it. Top of the Ted up. Newman. Beef brisket. Chips in a pint. Back. What a strike, Benji Boy! He's got us back in it again. What a wonderful half volley. Three all with ten minutes to play. Crazy game. Lovely strike again. I think it's a good deflection, but we don't mind it. Ten minutes to get a winner. Come on. Lee's red card, five minutes to play. Surely Spurs can hang on now. What a win this will be.
down twice. We go one nil down. We go two one down. We go three two down, and we win four three at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Just the Lord of World Cup. What a win, and we've done it in fashion. Ben scored with two goals. Kulisewski playing amazing, and Harry Kane scoring, doing what he does best. So what a day here. Atmosphere is great. Yeah, onto the World Cup. Come on. Right, Florence. This is Hello. my sister, by the way. Hello. Lucky charm, clearly, Florence. So I think this has been your fifth game in a row that Spurs have won. I know, I know. How do you feel to be the Spurs-related lucky charm? Oh, I don't know. It's very, it's very positive. Every time I come, we seem to bring good luck. Um, you bring good luck, exactly. Yeah, I bring good luck. And um, even happier to be making my debut on Spurs Oh, wow, wow. Well, I know, That's what we like to hear. Right, so Florence, we're going to ask you a couple of questions as we normally do okay. on the channel. Okay, so, favourite performer today? Who, who caught your eye? Who was the best player on the pitch? In my opinion, it's like always Harry Kane. So. You always think it's Harry Kane. I well, in my Harry opinion, Kane. it was Rodrigo yeah. Bentecourt. He was a mustard. But then again, I thought Kane was strong and Kulisowski coming back. Do you like Kulisowski, Ginger from Sweden? Yes, I do. And I love his song as well. It's brilliant. You love his song. Well, there you are, Florence. Brilliant. So, yeah, great have, game. And, have you a... Have you enjoyed yourself? That's I've the main thing. I've enjoyed myself very much. Good. <laughs> right, we'll have to get you back on the channel. Yes, yeah, so I'd love to be back very soon. And yeah, soon. we'll get you some more opinions and hopefully you'll keep this winning streak going hopefully. after the World Cup. Come on, you Spurs. Well, guys, where do I start? What a crazy day at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and what a win for Tottenham. Coming out, four free winners against Leeds, scoring two goals in the final 10 minutes to take Spurs into third place while Newcastle have now come into third place and Tottenham in fourth. Um, but being the Champions League spots just before the World Cup, Starts. If you asked it me at the start of the summer and we were only three points behind Man City, albeit they have a game in hand, I definitely would take it. We've questioned Tottenham's footballing style this season, being quite defensive, but we are getting results. And once again, we've showed character today to beat a lead side. Come down from behind three times, 1-0 down, we went. 2-1, we went. 3-2 down and we scored two goals in the final 10 minutes. We showed it to attack and intent. We got on the ball lots today and we really dictated the play. Ben score was fantastic. Kulosevsky really showing his class. What a joy it is to watch him and uh, Ben score at the minute. We signed them both for a combined 17 million euros and they really are proving their worth. Probably one of the, the two best signings Spurs have made in recent history, all coming in the same window. Helped us get top four last season and I'm sure they're going to help us push on this season. It's exciting times again for Tottenham. It could have been despair. We have been knocked out of the year. EFL Cup by Nottingham Forest. We did lose to Liverpool last week, but once again, that feel-good factor is once again at Tottenham and we could be on the up. We're now looking for a positive World Cup. Hopefully England can go far. We then need to make signings and we can push on after January. What a day at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog as much as I've enjoyed being there. Um, I hope it shows the atmosphere as well. I want you guys to get in the comments. Let me know how it looks, what I can improve on. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. And I hope I can bring you a lot more content throughout the World Cup. And obviously, I'll be bringing the vlogs back afterwards. Thanks for joining us. And yeah, have a nice weekend.